Hey everyone, it's Jilly. Today we'll be making a delicious Cuban sandwich from scratch. If you've never had a Cuban sandwich, you are definitely missing out, but no worries, now you can make one at home. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is mince about eight cloves of garlic. It's not a lot, trust me. Set it aside. Now we're going to prepare our sour orange mixture. A little messy. I honestly forget sometimes that I'm recording. I move a little quickly. So sour orange is just a mixture of oranges and lime, which is going to be a marinade for our pork, sour orange, garlic, spices. That's how we usually marinate most of our meats in Cuba. The spices I use are oregano, onion powder, garlic powder, chili, paprika, salt and pepper, added the minced garlic, gave it a little stir. Use a whisk. I was very reckless in this video. I didn't know what's wrong with me. Added a little bit of olive oil. And now my family always uses sasson to season the sour orange. I decided to use different spices only because I know most of you might have trouble finding it, but you can certainly use it if you have it. Alright, so here I have an eight pound pork shoulder. And what you want to do is remove the fat, but not all the way. I like to take my knife and slide it off little by little. Now you can buy it without the skin, but you really don't want to do that. Especially if you live in a Cuban household, they will probably kick you out eat pork shoulder maybe twice a year so leaving the skin on it's not a big deal and you're definitely not going to consume this by yourself so this is exactly how you want the skin to be like an open book you don't want to remove it completely take your knife and make some holes this is humongous a little salt and pepper and olive oil is not going to be enough it's very thick and we want it as flavorful as possible we're not going to be using barbecue sauce, so we need to get in there with the garlic chunks and spices and the sour orange. Very important. You're probably thinking this is a lot of work for a sandwich. It is, but this is how you make it. A Cuban sandwich consists of roasted pork, ham, and cheese. Now you want to flip it over and do the same thing on the sides as well. Now of course you can buy a very small piece of pork instead. I used a big one because I wanted to shred the remainder of this and serve it with rice and beans. You can make tacos with this. You can make a million Cuban sandwiches with this. So many things. But most importantly, you want to make your Cuban sandwich. And in all honesty, this is my all-time favorite sandwich. I don't live in Florida, so I can't automatically get a great Cuban sandwich whenever I want. Therefore, I make it at home once in a while. I hope you guys really enjoy this recipe because it is delicious and it is one of the best sandwiches you'll ever eat, I promise. So when you're done poking it on all sides and pouring all of the marinade, you want to cover this and refrigerate it overnight. You then want to cook this in your oven at 350 degrees, 25 minutes per pound. So if your pork shoulder is two pounds, you're going to cook it for 50 minutes, just an example. This is what my pork shoulder looked like when it came out of the oven and it looked like Christmas because we literally eat this for Christmas every year. You can baste it every hour if you like. I did not cover the pork while it was in the oven because I wanted the skin to get really crunchy and dark. I sliced it. You may shred it if you prefer. That is completely optional. And now I do have a friend who does not eat pork and she is a fabulous chef. So instead of pork, she roasts a leg of lamb and uses turkey cold cuts to make her Cuban sandwich. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. So now all that's left to do is assemble our delicious sandwich. You may use any loaf of bread. I never have yellow mustard, so I just use Dijon mustard, some sliced pickles, placed our gorgeous pork. And now do you see those garlic chunks and oregano? And the crispy top, I mean seriously, how can this not be delicious? I placed some thinly sliced ham. I admit I do not like the thick ham that they traditionally use for the Cuban sandwiches. Use whatever you prefer. I use Swiss cheese. And now another favorite Cuban sandwich of mine is a croquette sandwich. That is probably as good as this. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about. So you want to close the sandwich up. And I just wanted to show you how good the inside of this sandwich looked. Even like this cold, it is still delicious. So now you want to take some softened butter. I melted it a bit. And you want to brush it on both sides before grilling the sandwich. You may use a panini press if you own one. If not, you can grill this on a cast iron skillet. I just used the first saute pan I found. I took a brick covered in foil. I know that's odd. But you may use another cast iron skillet on top or anything really heavy to press down the sandwich. 
I grilled this sandwich for about five minutes on each side and that's it. I'll be honest, a Cuban sandwich is not the prettiest looking sandwich around, but it is delicious. Trust me. I hope you guys really give this sandwich a try. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all so much for watching.